and then the chemicals that we eat. I mean, uh, there are things like aspartame, uh, which break down into a small amount of, of uh, methanol, and, and uh, we, which is sort of a, a, a brain toxin. And uh, it, it's only a tiny amount, so that only the people who are most sensitive have trouble with it. Now, this brings up the subject of, of uh, chemical sensitivities, like take mercury. Now, any fool knows that mercury is toxic, toxic, but the, it's a matter of amount. Let's say the tiny amount which is in mercury fillings uh, probably doesn't obviously cause trouble in the vast majority of people. I mean, maybe it knocks their IQ down five points. I don't know whether it does or not. But there is a significant minority of people who are very sensitive to this mercury, you see. And so the dental profession will be arguing toxicity all the time when we should be thinking about sensitivity, you see. And there are just some people who just cannot tolerate the slightest amount of mercury. Or some people, for some reason or other, they can't stand the slightest amount of formaldehyde or perfumes or things like that. That's why that the average person uh, tolerates the glues under the rugs or the, the chemicals coming off paints and stuff like that. But there is this small minority of people that are so, so sensitive to these things that they can't uh, tolerate these things. Now, vitamin C in high doses increases the tolerance to these things to a certain extent. I, I don't like to see people uh, be exposing themselves to chemicals because they're able to stand them with, with ascorbic acid if they're sensitive to them. Uh, but it does help. We have many uh, chemically sensitive people like who can't stand perfumes. Uh, which they find if they're saturated with C all the time, then they can go into crowds where women will be wearing perfumes and function pretty normally. Uh, sometimes they can't, but sometimes they can. So, uh, but th then of the other nutrients, uh, oh, like arthritis is very, uh, of the fingers, uh, the distal joints of the fingers is very frequently caused by the nightshades, tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, red and green pepper, paprika, and tobacco. Many of the GI tract troubles are caused by uh, gluten. Now, the medical profession uh, recognizes celiac disease as being caused by gluten sensitivities, but I'm here to tell you that a lot of irritable bowel syndrome and ulcerative colitis and other various other diseases of the gut are also aggravated by gluten, and so one should always uh, try to be off gluten sensitivities. And then we mentioned before that, that gluten can sometimes cause schizophrenia and, and uh, some very susceptible people. We talked about the uh, acne deficiency at puberty sometimes causing uh, uh, acne, uh, the zinc deficiency at puberty sometimes causing acne, uh, uh, the B vitamins, the B12 deficiency, the folic acid deficiency, there's a great amount of interest now in uh, homocysteine, homocysteine being the cause of arteriosclerosis. and. Uh, now they're saying that certain neurologic diseases, even Alzheimer's disease, may have a certain component of homocysteine being a cause of this. And this could be countered by taking a folic acid. So uh, the, the, the person who has a defect in fo folic acid deficiency, uh, folic acid metabolism, might not be able to get by on the folic acid that the average person is able to get by on. And particularly as they get older, they can't get by on that amount. So that's why supplementing with this thing. Now, one might say, well, this is not natural. Well, believe me, I'm not all in favor of what's natural. I want to point out that uh, rattlesnakes and uh, sp uh, black widow spiders are natural. Uh, and, and so not everything that's natural is good. And, uh, but, but so that as our metabolism gets less efficient as we get older, and, and one of our objectives is trying to live older uh, comfortably and older age, this then uh, gives us justification for doing some unnatural things, but usually with natural substances. You see what I mean? Uh, to counter a uh, deficiency in the metabolism of a certain natural substance, uh, you don't want to take a drug, you want to take more of that natural substance to compensate for that inefficiency in metabolizing that substance. I mean, this is also terribly logical. Why, why can't people think this way? Because it's not patentable. It doesn't pay a drug company to push this, you see. 
And so these natural substances don't have sponsors. 